Good morning again, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm sure glad y'all are here with me. Um, I'm making, uh, I'm baking chicken with my matone, the heavy thing that goes like chicken on a brick under a brick, and I'm going to make a side dish to go with it. And years ago, when I first married, we were visiting my sister-in-law in Florida, and she made potatoes, and all she did was cut them and put a little olive oil on them and sprinkle them with paprika and bake them and they, salt and pepper. They were delicious. So it's just a quick side dish, but that's what I'm going to fix today and I thought I'll let y'all watch me. Come on over here to the butcher block and we'll cut these potatoes up and season them and I'm cooking them in my covered baker. They're going to be yummy. Okay, I'm going to use, if I've got any left in my bottle, this garlic um, olive oil that I got at Costco and I went back to get some more and they didn't have any. I guess it was a one-time deal. You know that happens often. You just need enough that when you roll your potatoes around in there they're all kind of have some oil on them. I'm going to put a little bit of this one. It's just a good olive oil that I got at HEB. Got my paprika. I'm just going to cut these in quarters, I think. I had some friends, Melvin and Pam Whitmire, brought me some wonderful sweet onions from Oklahoma, and I do not remember the name of them. But he had told me they were easily comparable to Idelia, and let me tell you, they are so sweet and good. So I am going to put, but I'm going to put it in big enough pieces that it's easy to pick out because grandkids are here and they don't like, some of them don't like cooked onion. But when you cook it, Lordy mercy, it just gets sweeter and sweeter. Uh oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is sprinkle some onion and garlic powder on them, which Olita didn't do that, but Gay's going to do what she always does on this. And this is garlic with uh, some paprika in it, I, don't, I mean with some parsley in it. It started with a P. And I'm just going to put some paprika in there like that. I could have used smoky paprika, but I don't think that I wanted that. I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt on them. And I'll toss them again here in a minute. And I'm going to put just a hint of lemon pepper. Not a bunch. Just a little bit, just to brighten the flavor a little bit. This is my ratchet pepper grinder that you can get from Sir La Tab. And it's a lot easier on your hands than twisting the top of a regular one. I've got a regular one and I use this one most of the time. I want a little more paprika. Toss it one more time. Okay, it's ready to get into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes and then we'll check it. Okay, I'm going to put my lid on it, that way I don't have to cover it with foil. And I'll put it in there and get it cooking and be back in just a little bit. I thought I might as well show y'all another side dish that we're going to have today. I'm going to cook a quart of the green beans that I canned for y'all recently. 
And so I've got about three slices of bacon that I've cut in little pieces and I'm going to just cook it, let it render the fat, let it get a little bit brown. I don't want it burned or real, 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 real crispy. And then I'm going to add my green beans and I'll season them, but I'll bring y'all back and show you what I'm doing. You'll get a two for today. Okay, see my bacon is getting a little bit brown and the fat's getting a little done and I've got some fat rendered in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to put my green beans in. I'm going to stir that around to get all that goodness out of the bottom. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of onion powder. About a fourth or a half a teaspoon of garlic with parsley. And I needed just a pat of salt because I did can them with some salt. So I don't want them too salty. Maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a few crunks of pepper. Now basically these are done because they pressured when I canned them. So I, you really just are heating them through to add the flavors to them. So let me see if I've got my flavors right with my little tasting spoon here. Yes ma'am, those are good Miss Gay. I think we'll have some in a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to let those simmer, but I wanted to share with you what another side dish that we will have with our chicken today. For those of you that when I say I'm cooking my chicken in the Matone, this lid weighs about, I don't know, probably 8 or 10 pounds. It's very heavy and you put your meat in the cast iron enamel coated the bottom part season it and put it in there and you lay the the weight on the top and I bake my chicken for 40 minutes and this top the skin on it gets crispy and the uh, it's juicy and it's delicious so that's our meat today and we're having the green beans they're ready I'm waiting on the potatoes and I'll show y'all what they ended up looking like I got this from Sir La Tab. And if you'll watch, they put them on sale as a pair. I don't think I paid like 99 bucks for the whole thing. And the thing about investing in good cookware like stove or La Crusade, it's heirloom. You pass it down from one generation to the other. If you take care of it, it'll last forever. So it's a great investment. Okay, the potatoes are out of the oven. And uh, they're soft. They're not mushy, but they're fork tender. So I'm going to get our plates made and I'll show you all a picture of our meat, potatoes, and I warmed up carrots that I had roasted yesterday and the green beans and the chicken. Be right back. Okay, y'all, here's my plate. I've got some peppers and carrots and onions that I roasted yesterday that I've added. There's the chicken, the green beans, and the potatoes from that I was showing you how I baked them in the oven. Baked them for 45 minutes and they're good. They're not mushy, but they're tender. Didn't that plate look yummy? Well, it tasted yummy. Let me tell you, it was good. That was a pretty good locale lunch. And then the kids had watermelon for dessert. And I snuck over to the cookie jar and got me one or two of those Frito cookies that I showed y'all how to make. Always Chinese cookies have been my favorite, but buddy, those are running a close race. If you haven't made that recipe, go watch the video and make you some. So today you saw how I did the potatoes and fixed my green beans and baked some chicken and I don't know what we'll do next but I hope y'all will come back and be along for the, the work duty and learn a new recipe maybe. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. 
Wear your mask. Try to stay safe. I've had mixed emotions and mixed feelings and thoughts about all of this, but I have some close friends that have contacted that virus, and it's really mean, and it's really real. So do what you can to protect yourself and to protect others in case you've been infected and didn't know it. Wear your mask. It's Halloween year-round right now. Y'all be careful, and I'll see you in a day or two.